Next, I'd like to show you just how fantastic the Mac is now with Lion and working with documents. I'm going to open a document that uh, I've been working on here on the history of guitars. When I start editing a document, often I'll position my windows just the way I like them, like this, maybe open up some inspectors, position them the way I want them, and then I'll set down to editing. Now, this guitar, this uh, looks maybe a little bit too metal for my target audience, so I'll uh, delete that. Take, uh, take this, move it aside, maybe change the font here on this, uh, on this document. So I'm done with my edits for now, and I'm going to quit. And I want you to watch what happens when I quit. Absolutely nothing. I wasn't prompted to save. I didn't need to be because Lion was actually saving for me all along. But it wasn't just saving my document. It was saving exactly the state of how I was working. So now when I go back and launch pages again, you see it brings back all my inspectors just the way they were, brings back my window positioned where it was, and even has my text selection highlighted just as I left it. Perfect restore. But we're not just storing the latest version of the document. We're keeping a history of the document as it's edited. So if I want to go back, maybe I regret these edits, I want to get back to the previous version, I go right here and browse all versions. And I'm taken right into the star field where I get a view of my current version on the left and the history on the right. If I want this previous version to become current, I click restore, it picks up, flies on top, and becomes the current version of my document, and I'm restored. But you saw there was actually more history than that. I'll go back into the star field here. You can see I actually have a full timeline here on the right. I can go back to the very beginning of this document when it was just a few paragraphs, or step forward as I was adding pages and so forth. But when I restore a document, you know, very often I don't want really the whole old version. I like mostly what my new document has become, but often I want to harvest maybe just an image or perhaps a particular slide and bring it into the current version. With versions, I can, because these two windows are actually live here. So if I have on my current version maybe a page that could really use an image to punch it up a little bit, and I go back to this past version, I see, oh, look, there's, there's a guitar that would be just perfect. Well, I can just select the guitar in the old version, copy it, and then paste it right into the latest version. And like that, I've created just the document I was looking for. And that's versions. Thanks.